welcome back to my channel everyone today we're making spicy garlic shrimp stay tuned Hashtag, i'm a big deal <laughs> I'm a big deal Very, very, very important for So here I have my shrimp Now I'm using a jumbo size shrimp for this one And I have roughly about 12 pieces here I'm also going to be using some crushed garlic Parsley Scotch bonnet pepper Onions and my salted butter now i'm just going to lightly season these with some seafood seasoning and also some all-purpose seasoning also going to add a bit of thyme and also later on down i'll add some paprika I added a teaspoon of each seasoning. Now in a heated pan, I'm going to go ahead and fry my shrimp. Now I'm not going to fry them all at once because I want, I don't want the oil to get a lot of moisture in it because I want a nice um, sear to the prawns, the shrimp, whatever you call them. Now I'm going to lightly fry these for about a minute and a half to two minutes per side. Now once these are done, I'm going to remove them and go ahead and fry the rest of the batches. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for coming by. Wagwan! <laughs> for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for always returning. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Shell's Homestyle Kitchen. Now once I've fried all my shrimp, I'm going to go ahead now and make a little sauce for it. So I'm going to go ahead now with my butter. Now to, once the butter starts to get heated, I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic. Now I did use about 6 to 7 cloves of garlic and I just crushed them. Add my garlic, just saute this for a few, for about 30-40 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead now and add my onions. Now please make sure you have your stove on a low heat because then the butter go burn up and it's just not going to work. So keep your heat relatively low. Now once you've sauteed your onions and your garlic for about 2 minutes, you know just get the onion because we don't want a raw onion in our mouth. We're going to go ahead now and add a little um, parsley and thyme. Now you can add as much or as, as little um, scotch bonnet sauce as you want to. I added about a teaspoon here, but if you don't like it too hot, you can, you know, reduce it a little bit. Now I opted for the sauce rather than the fresh um, scotch bonnet itself because, you know, at least I've guaranteed a certain flavor when it comes to this bottle of pepper here. Now I'm going to add paprika. Now the paprika it's just gonna give it a nice little color just add a nice nice little color to it i'm gonna add a little bit more butter and at this point now you can go ahead and just turn your flame off now also what i did i just add a little bit of sugar just to give it just just to take it over the hill it just did want a little bit of help to go over the hill just add back your shrimp and that's a good mix and after that you know we can just serve up because we're spicy garlic shrimp ready now this is just a nice little side dish like a starter you know anyhow you want to eat it you know nice warm piece of pita bread just to mop up, mop up all of that sauce and just heaven on a plate mm -mm -mm. now look at that don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me and also leave me a comment let me know you're here i know you're watching let me know you're there now <laughs> now you know you have to put in a little parsley just a little presentation for it to look that extra extra appealing to the eyes and just a little bit of lemon my daughter loved the lemon pan it just give a little squeeze and enjoy and there you have it guys my spicy garlic shrimp ready for you 
guys thank you so much for watching this video and as i always say to aim high work hard but smart because the sky's the limit and only you can limit yourself catch you in the next video bye